Hi everyone, my name is Deborah and this is the Edit by DH. Welcome to my second video in one sitting. So I'm on a roll today. I just finished reviewing the new Victoria Beckham Cheeky Posh Cream Blush Sticks, uh, which I've just got here and also her latest gloss. So that's what I've got on my cheeks and my lips right now. So please check out that video. I will link it down below for you to watch and see how I achieved this glowy, uplifting look. Just to also quickly mention anything I'm wearing right now, whether it's eyeshadow, makeup in general, earrings, whatever I can, I'll try and link down below. So you have all the links there for you. So today I am so excited to be reviewing the new Dior. It's called Collection Set of Four Rouge Dior, which again, I will link down below. So I saw this online and I, was like, I've got to have that for the packaging. And it's the first time I've genuinely not cared about the makeup just because of the, the box and wanting the box. It sounds crazy, but you'll see what I mean in just a moment. And of course, as always, I will give you my final thoughts and also go through gift with purchase right at the end. So let's open up this bad boy. So when you open it up, this is what comes out. And honestly, guys, please don't hate me. Please don't judge me. This is literally why I purchased this. Now, let me tell you about the price. It's £152, which sounds incredibly expensive and it's not cheap, that's for sure. I know 152 sounds like a lot, which it is, but it comes with four lipsticks. Well, actually three lipsticks, three of the velvet finished lipsticks, and I believe it's a balm. I'll confirm in just a moment. So that would work out to about £38 per lipstick. And I believe the lipsticks are normally £32, so it's slightly more, but obviously you're getting this presentation box as well, which is a keepsake box, by the way. Just to show you up close, that's what it looks like. So it's got all this detailing to it, which is that classic, Christian Dior print. When you feel it, it's like a velvet material and therefore it has that kind of opulent, rich texture to it. The back's just a plain, rich navy. When you open it up, it reveals a huge mirror and then the lipsticks inside, as you can see. Not only that, but when you then remove the lipsticks, which I'm gonna do now, the insert inside can be removed to reveal an empty box. And it's got this ribbon here to keep the lid in place so it doesn't go back too far. And actually it would store so many things. It's actually a really sturdy, solid box. Even if it is cardboard, it's very, very solid feeling. I don't know what it's made of exactly, but I fell in love with this. And listen, let's be real guys, not many people can afford a Dior bag, right? You don't go out one day and just decide to buy a Lady Dior bag. I mean, maybe some of you do. So I, when I saw this, I was like, I've got to have it. If Christian Dior were to sell this as say like a makeup box, the price would just exponentially go up. Like this would be worth way more if they sold it as an actual product rather than a presentation box for four lipsticks. So in my mind, it's worth it. But let me know what you think, because you might disagree. But I love this. And it's going to sit proudly on my mantelpiece somewhere and just, and just keep all my trinkets or bits and bobs safely. It's big enough to also um, store like a insert. Like, you know, those organisational storage things where it's like separate compartments as well, if you wanted to be really like fancy as well. But anyway, I love it. And that's exactly why I got it. I just wanted to be completely honest with you guys. But I will still review the lipsticks. <laughs> So it says Dior has composed for this exclusive edition a harmony of three lipsticks and one lip balm from the iconic Rouge Dior, reunited in a midnight blue velvet case inspired by the iconic couture carnage motif of the house of Dior. The case includes a mirror, which you guys saw. So this is the lipstick bullet, like in the traditional case, and it's got the CD on front. And it opens up to reveal this sort of gorgeous velvety texture of the 999. I almost don't even want to swatch it, guys. It looks so gorgeous. It literally looks like a velvety mousse. That's what it looks like. But I will swatch it for you in just a second. Then it includes the Rouge Dior shade at 100. The nude look hue, the contemporary greige in a matte finish. 
so that's that shade again absolutely stunning then the rouge dual lipstick shade 720 in the icone shade an intense and couture rosewood in the new velvet finish and that's like a deeper red almost like a bricky tone which is absolutely gorgeous and then finally the Rouge Dior Lip Balm shade 000 Dior Natural Satin Finish, a lip balm that assures 24 hours of moisturising, formulated with 95% natural origin ingredients. So before I go on to swatch and apply those, I'll give you more information about this box. So it says, mirroring the couture expertise of the house, Dior has created Rouge Dior Velvet Boxes that reflect the art of designing the perfect case. Inspired by the iconic Dior Carnage motif, this set features an introductory Rouge Dior routine. So three lipsticks, one balm. And by the way, I believe there is another set same box basically but it has two lip products instead so it has a lipstick and a lip balm to be fair it's the same design i don't know if it's the same size of the box i'm not 100 percent sure but that one's cheaper because it's 76 pounds so that just includes one lipstick and one balm i believe it's a 999 lipstick and the balm so if you wanted this box but you don't you think 152 is a bit too much there is a cheaper option of the 76 pounds alternatively if you want to go full out Beyonce bougie party and you know really be extravagant then there is a collection set of 34 lipsticks and one lip balm and that costs a very reasonable 1330 pounds so there is that option but I got the one in the middle which is 152 pounds and now for the swatches and application. There's no point me swatching the balm, right? So I'll skip that. And in fact, the balm, I just know I'm not going to use it because I have so many balms. So I'll put that in my next giveaway slash thank you gift pile. So that's a swatch of shade 100. So I will, as per usual, go from light to deepest colour for the lipstick swatches. So this is such a perfect nude colour for me. But nude, that doesn't wash me out. Like the kind of nude which I don't need to necessarily pair with a smoky eye. Like it could just be an everyday colour. So this is shade 100. There is definitely a fragrance to the lipstick. And you guys know how I feel about fragrance and lipsticks. It's not the kind of cheap vanilla scent. It's literally like a perfume. It's very floral scented. I prefer it to the vanilla scent, but even then, I hope that this smell kind of disperses quickly and that it goes away because it's not something that I would enjoy smelling over a longer period. So, but anyway, going back to the shade, it's so gorgeous. It's very wearable and very comfortable. It's not like a typical matte formulas, which can almost like instantly set and dry down. And yes, that helps with the longevity, but a lot of people don't like wearing mattes for that reasons because it feels less hydrating than obviously like other creamier formulas. This has a sort of soft matte finish because it's not completely matte. There is still a sheen to it, but it has the creaminess of a satin textured lipstick, for example. And my lips feel very, very comfortable. So this is definitely going to join my collection very happily. Next, I'm going to try on the classic 999, which is a classic pillar box red. So that's 999 swatched on my hand and on my lips. I mean, it's a classic, classic red, such a gorgeous, gorgeous red. I remember liking it the first time I tried it as well. And I think the first time it was given to me as a sample. And also it wasn't in the velvet finish. It was in the, one of the other finishes with a slightly shinier finish but i always prefer a matte lipstick for a statement lipsticks at least it's not perfectly applied but again i just kind of wanted to show you guys how it looks without a lip pencil and how you can apply it to be honest the tip of the lipstick just there is perfect because it's not too soft so you can really use that as almost like a lip liner to really guide the outline of your lips but it's, it's such a classic colour and I'm not going to neaten it up because I'm going to remove it in just a sec and wear the next shade. But 
just wanted to show you what 999 looked like it's just such a gorgeous color and you know i'm such a red lipstick fan so this is just another one of those colors that i love so this is the next shade 720 let's watch it for you first that's the shade so it's obviously a much deeper color and probably very fall appropriate so let's try it on this is color 720 and it's a rosewood color again it's not applied perfectly but i just wanted to show you what the color looked like as predicted it's like the perfect autumnal color i absolutely love it so what are my final thoughts on this as you guys know i got it primarily for this box and i don't regret that decision having seen that box in real life now I would definitely keep it as a keepsake box and it would fit so many different things in it, whether it's makeup, whether it's like your jewellery or other trinkets and bits and bobs. So definitely happy with that. As for the four colours, to be honest, I wasn't so fussed with what they were giving me because really they could have put anything in there and I would have been happy with that box. However, for the four lipsticks that they did provide in this new velvet finish formula, I'm really impressed because... They, they could have easily have just thrown in whatever. Their choices were very intentional. And I feel like not only did they choose of three colors and one balm that they could really introduce you to their collection and what their lipsticks are like. But I like the fact that they've done it in the velvet finish, which is new. So it gives you like a new item, but also colors that are like not only classic, but would work on a variety of skin tones. I really appreciate that. It's not like they've chucked in the wackiest pink or like the brightest orange that not many people would be comfortable wearing. They've just given you this sort of deep red slash rosewood color. They've given you a classic red. They've given you a nude color and then a lip balm. So it's definitely wearable for a variety of skin tones. And I really, really, really appreciate that. So even though I didn't get it for the lipsticks and the lip balm, I am definitely happy and will definitely keep it. Bala lip balm, which obviously, like I said earlier, is going to go into a giveaway. So just quickly, before I finish the video, I just wanted to show you what I got for gift with purchase. Again, I always appreciate the little drawstring bags because they come in really handy when I go traveling. There was no special gift with purchase this time around. You just have to keep an eye on the deal website because sometimes they'll give you that red pouch. Sometimes they'll give you like other special things. So because I've spent over a hundred pounds, they give you like a luxury travel size gift. And as always, you can choose what you want. Often it's fragrances, but as always, I go for the Dior Lip Maximizer just because this is my favorite lip gloss slash lip treatment because I even wear it at night sometimes when I fall asleep and wake up in the morning, my lips feel nice. I always go for this because it's handbag friendly. I love it and, you know, it's always going to be needed and necessary, especially with the winter months. Then I chose two just other samples which is again the forever skin glow love this foundation in 2n these are great for holiday traveling it looks tiny but it lasts like a week trust me but that's because i don't wear like a lot of makeup and then lastly i chose the jador perfume which you guys know again that i love is such a classic scent so these are the gifts of purchases so let me know down below what you guys think of this not only this collection but the other two that i showed you that were like 76 pounds and a thousand 330 pounds what do you guys think of it what do you guys think of the box just to say by the way that there is a slight chemical scent to it but i think that's kind of to be expected and then after a while i'm sure the smell will go what do you think of the lipstick colors that were chosen as part of the collection what do you think of your makeup in general just talk to me i just want to hear what your thoughts are and if you are a generous gifter then i would think this would be an amazing christmas gift for somebody alternatively it's something that you could most definitely put on your christmas wish list for someone else to purchase for you but yeah i hope you enjoyed it i certainly did and i am very happy with all my purchases and for my next video i believe is either going to be one of the other first but it'll be cult beauty advent calendar i've managed to get my hands on one i'm so excited so i can show you guys and take you through everything that's in there and also lisa eldridge collection which is launching today actually anyway i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like subscribe and ring the notification bell if you enjoyed this and want to see similar videos in the future in the meantime thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one take care